so you screwed up. Just admit it, you screwed up. I screwed up. Your forward starter. You've got the new style centrifugal clutch, Benix. No longer has that stupid spring that likes to break and eat up flywheels. That tractor right there. Either when you took it out of the package or you picked it up or you were installing it or taking it out if you already had one, you got the clutch stuck all the way open. You can't get it back down to the shut position. It's not going to work that way. You can't install it that way. You'd be lucky if you could even get it in the tractor that way. Let me show you what we usually do here. Now you need to be careful. Use a smooth object. A lot of times what we use, either a narrow wooden handle, just a cheap body hammer, or a long, thick, round shank screwdriver of some sort. Prefer the wooden handles when we can. Sometimes you can't get one narrow enough. This will be okay because it's going to be such a short little bit of contact on here. It's not going to do much damage at all. But uh, just a few seconds, I'm going to show you how we fix this. Okay, so I have this set up on our bench here. I've just got this wired up to a spare battery I have around. Got it clamped in the vise. You don't have to clamp it in the vise. It's just you know by yourself. It's kind of hard to hold this thing. We're going to use our screwdriver here with pretty uh, thick material. Prefer a round one so we don't cause any damage. Now, the rotation of this starter, if we're facing it, is clockwise. So, you don't want to come in counterclockwise, and if it catches, that's a ballistic missile that we just don't need to have happen. So, we're going to go in just like this and just put a little bit of pressure against the gear. So I'm going to set this up, see, can't get it to go back down, it's, it's stuck. So I'm going to come in right here and just push on it just a little bit. Now here's the trick. When I get this going, I want to get it all the way up to full speed. It needs to be going absolutely as fast as possible so that these locks will release. And then as we're putting pressure on, you don't want to pry against it, you just want to put enough pressure to kind of push it down. All right, do that one more time. No problem. 